What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Hello right there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, a special expansion review. Today I'm very excited to check it out, Crisis Hunters, Fires of Gamera, from the Flux Capacity. This is a 24-card micro-expansion for Crisis Hunters, which is 2-4 to four players, ages 10+, plus. it'll take about 25 minutes to play. And what is this going to add? Well, this is going to add more characters for you to play with, more hunters for you to play with, and also, oh, lava, yes, lava, the floor is lava, which you're going to be able to push people in, which can potentially do damage to them if they can't get out of them, but it's also going to slow you down. Do you take the slow and steady and safe route, or do you try and go through the fire? Let's open it up, see how it works. All right, then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Crisis Hunters, the Fires of Gamera expansion. So first and foremost, uh, you're going to get cards. This is the 24-card micro expansion. There's going to be three kinds of cards you're going to get. Uh, first, you are going to have your handy-dandy little rule cards. One is going to be double-sided uh, with rules, and this one is actually just single-sided because this side is just advertising for the, the six-player expansion, which I unfortunately don't have, so I can't review. Uh, the rule card is its just par for the course with Crisis Hunters. It's, it will teach you how to play, but there will still be things that are unclear, and it will be frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating, too, considering... How short this rule card, these rule cards are, and yet how it's still lacking information and things are still unclear. Really super annoying, um, but it is still playable. So continuing onward, you're going to get more hunters. And this is one of my favorite aspects of the new expansion because the hunters, I mean, there's just more hunters and they're fun and unique and they all play very differently and they have great artwork. And, and this, I mean, if you like Crisis Hunters like I do, this is probably one of the main reasons why you like it. It's just because each character plays differently and these characters play differently and they're fun to play with. So big thumbs up. You're going to have a bunch of new characters that you can throw into your base game mix in. So I like that an awful lot. Last but not least, you were going to get the lava map tiles. Now, I forgot to mention this last part, but I wish these were double-sided. I think I mentioned that in the original review as well. It just seems like a lost opportunity, but not a huge deal. Uh, so you're going to get all the numbers one through six, and they're going to be on here twice, I do believe, as per normal maps. Now, I'm not sure if you're supposed to mix these together with the other ones, or if you're supposed to uh, use like half and half. We personally just mix them all together with the original map tiles from the first game and we had a blast doing it um, so that was quite a deal, good deal of fun but I'm not exactly sure if that throws off the balance or anything like that but we do it and it's good so how does the lava work so lava is different because it's going to cost you two movements to go across so let's just pretend you wanted to get from say uh, here to over here because there's two gems over here now you normally say all right I go one two or so one two and boom I'm there no, that's not how it works because lava is, well, it's freaking lava. It's going to burn you. So when you move across lava, you have two choices. You can either do your regular one movement, just go one, two, uh, but you have to take one point of damage for each lava spot you go on, or you can do two movement because I guess you're running super fast, exerting energy or something like that, so you could go two, three. So it's your choice whether or not you want to take the damage or whether or not you want to move the uh, use the extra movement action if you have an extra movement action that is. You can't end your turn on a lava space. Uh, also, if you move another hunter onto a lava space, they don't immediately take damage. How that works is they take damage at the beginning of their next turn because what can potentially happen if you're playing a cooperative game is that w the person that's working with that player might potentially pull them out of the lava pit and back on uh, onto land, at which point they will not take the damage. So that's kind of cool right there. Now, also, you're going to take the damage before you roll the die. Uh, and then, so you're going to take the damage, and then you're going to move one, and then you're going to roll the die. So even if you roll a one, and let's just say you don't have the action to move or something like that, um, essentially what it's going to be is it's not going to penalize you too terribly much for being in lava, which I did like. I was worried when I first got this that the lava was just going to, you know, completely overpower the mechanics of the game, and it does not. Uh, rest assured that that is not the case. Now, another thing that I worry about is... Um, if you die on the lava, so this is a question that I had, and it's not in the rule booklets, which is annoying, and I forgot to mention in the cons, is that if you die in the lava because someone pushed you into the lava, I'm not sure if they get the two gems from you as per normal, or if you just lose them. The rule booklet doesn't actually clarify that, so that's kind of annoying. 
but you kind of expect it from Crisis Hunters, just poor rules. So you're going to get the lava. It's going to add a unique, interesting twist to the game, and that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to get inside of the Fires of Gamera expansion. Alrighty then, Fires of Gamera, the Crisis Hunters expansion from the Flux Capacity. What about Final Flux? Go with the pros, let's go with the cons. First, on the con side, if you did not like Crisis Hunters because the roll and move mechanics or because of the bad rule booklet... This is not going to change your mind. Well, it does add some new cool characters, and it does make it so you can make some different creative maps. You can potentially even make the map bigger, which is what I did. I, I used all the map tiles, just got some extra gemstones, and we did it like that, and that was a good deal of fun as well. It's not going to change anyone's opinion. If you didn't like Crisis Hunters, this is not going to change your mind. Also, the rule card is only two cards long. It's three halves of a card, and yet it's still... Not as good as it still be. It's still a little bit confusing. And come on, the, the rules are so small. It shouldn't. There should be no confusion. Cause, damn it, I like this game. I do. I like Crisis Hunters, and I like this expansion. Moving on to the pros, and I like the artwork, and I like the sleep box, and I like the concept, and I like the portability. But get somebody else to write your rules. Just, they need to be more clear. And when you're writing at most, like, three paragraphs, four paragraphs, there should be no confusion there. So moving on to the pro side, I do recommend this if you like Crisis Hunters. If you like Crisis Hunters, this is an insta-buy. You should pick this up. No questions asked. It's fun. It's cool. It, it can make, you get different combinations of maps and cool stuff like that. And I hope to see in the future other different things that you can add into your map and make your map larger. And I like that an awful lot. I like how the lava works, especially if you're working as a team game where someone else can potentially knock you back out of the lava and prevent you from taking the damage. I like the fact that you don't immediately take that damage, but you take it at the beginning of your turn. There's a lot to like here if you like Crisis Hunters. So overall, Crisis Hunters, Fires of Camera, is a must-own expansion if you like Crisis Hunters. If you're one of those people like me who can get through the rule booklet and the poor rule cards, yeah, get this one. It's fun. It's great. It's got good artwork. Highly recommended. But if you don't, if you've already given up on Crisis Hunters, just flick this one. Don't even think about it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and in the comments below. Let me know. Do you have any artwork at your house? Me personally, I have, I have, I think, I don't think I have any artwork hanging up. I have some posters. I have a picture of a unicorn, or these are, these are, these are horses behind me. Um, but I don't really think I have any artwork. I actually did have this one painting of, I think it was like uh, Napoleon Bonaparte when he was a baby and he's on this obese horse that I bought at an auction for like a dollar when I was drunk one time. And I hung it up in our, our room for a while and my wife was like, no, nope, no, nope, that's not hanging up. But one day I hope to hang that up. But other than that, I really don't have too much artwork. I would like to, but I just... I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't you know, I, I don't know. I just don't have any. But do you have artwork? Do you appreciate artwork? Do you enjoy artwork? Let me know in the comments. Well, as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.